Well, it's going to be another hot day. And Josh is out here working on his car. This is his baby right here. He loves this car. If he could marry it, you know what? He would. But I decided to tape him fixing it. Um, what are you going to do to this one? I'm just going to throw the timing belt broke on it, so I'm just going to throw a new timing belt in it. Um, nothing else. You're usually supposed to do like the water pump at the same time and the tensioners and everything, but I got a $9 belt from AutoZone, so I'm just going to throw that in. Super budget build. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, if it pops, then it will. My tension, I'm, hopefully, when I pull off these covers, my uh, tensioner bearings aren't all worn out. My idler bearing isn't all worn out. This is one of the jobs that I seriously hate doing on Miatas, is um, doing mm. timing belts because you literally like, rip off the whole front of the motor. So like mm. the serpentine belts and all the covers and all that crap, the harmonic balancer and all that crap's coming off. I have to take out the radiator already that's over there. Um, it's just not fun. <laughs> you think I should put coilovers on my car? Yeah. <laughs> It's just so uh, when I've been going off roading a lot in it, and when I go over like bumps and stuff, I can just hear it slamming. Yeah, I wonder if that would help pretty, it. Struts are probably pretty worn out. Yeah, they're... even just some new new struts and springs. Yeah, like even though. From flying the otter or something. So. Another crappy thing is too is like uh, I don't have like anything marked obviously because um, like when a timing belt breaks you don't know and so I have to find out where top dead center is so I'm going to end up taking spark plug number one off and putting a screwdriver down there and then try to find when it reaches the top of the top of the stroke and then I'll mark that as top dead center. You serious? Yeah. Man, I think it's Grungy. These motors, I notice you can really rev them a lot and it doesn't ruin them. That's what I'm finding I like about mine. Although I probably do it too much. And I'm always like punching it. Doesn't even, it's almost like it's good for it. There it is. Notice there's no timing belt. <laughs> Hey, you already took it off. <laughs> it ate the timing belt. It's gone. Where'd it go? What a trip. Okay. I'll come back, see if you can finish this in one day. Stupid chickens. Wow. No wonder they're called chickens, because they really are chicken. So how'd the other one break, Josh? So when I took <laughs> off the bottom pulley and all that junk, I found this was the culprit. There's a Whoa. bolt down there, it's all just chewed up. Dude, that and thing I got twisted. And I noticed there's a few uh, missing ones, so whoever did the last job or did something in the motor or built it or whatever, uh, they didn't tighten it tight enough, so it fell down and just ripped the belt in half. So yeah. Yeah, it is kind of random that the belt would break at all. They really know? don't break. I've never had one break and I've had some Miatas. <laughs> Look at how thick that thing is. The only thing they do is, is they like, get worn out and they'll like skip teeth eventually, you know? That's after like 200,000 miles, they'll get stretchy, you know? Yeah. They don't actually break. And so when it broke, I was like, that's very strange. Also, here's another thing the last guy did. There's only three bolts holding that in because that one is broken off. Oh, really? Yeah. So someone's done it before. Hack job. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Did you put another bolt in there or no? I'm gonna try to get this one out. This one, else, it's pretty stuck in there. It looks like that. But I'm gonna try to. I have one of the speed out tools on. If you guys seen those in my commercials, I'm gonna try to get that one out and then go get another bolt. Actually, I actually have another bolt over there on that motor. Sweet. But now I got a line. I found top dead center. And now I got a. Now I gotta line up my intake and exhaust cams. So you turns the thing down there and this thing goes up and down and you get to all the way to the top. 
That's how you get top center, right? Yep, top dead center. Cylinder one's the very tippy top. Okay. I had to get that because I'm uh, kind of seeing what the progress is here. Oh. Okay. What's up, guy? So here's where we at. We got the old belt off. <laughs> then we put this one on. <laughs> Josh has really been a help on this one. Um, so I think he's got it all lined up and on there, right? Yeah, pretty close. Looks loose, but it's not tightened. Huh. Pretty sweet. It's legitness. So we're gonna go out and rip it after you're done? No. We're just gonna take a test drive? I don't know, maybe. You gotta do it for the video, man. We'll just do a couple whips. For Robbie's how many followers you have a thousand followers? Over a thousand. Maybe if we did some uh, burnouts, we can get some more followers. We. Everything's we, Josh. That's a special tool there. For the job. Alright, anyways, that's where we're at. <laughs> We've been working hard on it. No, we have not been working hard on it. Josh has. I only held one thing in place. That was it. He's done everything. So you happy so far, Josh? Yeah, not really. I can't get these cams right, line up exactly the way I want. Uh -huh. It's impossible. Impossible. There's Josh's BMX bike. He did a awesome jump on it, I guess, yesterday, and I missed it. He didn't tell me he was gone. He never rides that thing. He went for a big jump. Anyways, he's getting the radiator back in. Um, I think that's pretty much it, huh? The, yeah, basically, I got to do the intake. Yeah, the intake. Plug in some stuff. But it's almost back together. Sweet. Maybe, maybe we'll see it run. Who knows? And the day is still young. Still has time. This is the one day test here. We got it running. Sweet. Time for a test drive. <laughs> You got insurance still? No. Well, maybe no test drive. Sounds pretty good, though. It dies when I unplug the battery. I think it's supposed to. I don't think the battery might be jacked on it. That's crazy. Yeah, it's broken. Broken battery. Brand new one, too. Like three months old. All right, guess what? We were driving looking at yard sales today and uh, we saw this Miata. And Josh decided he wanted to buy it, so we got it. There, he got it. 1500 bucks. I don't think you can see it if Jason wants to resell it. Uh, so it was actually 2500 plus yeah. tax. You two people aren't gonna buy this. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually uh, $29.95. Oh, it's got Hello Kitty seat covers. That's cool. Perfect, Josh. There's even cat print on the window. I think it's pretty sexy. Pretty straight, huh? Yeah. Look, see the cat prints on there? And then you see Hello Kitty in there. Wow. So what do you think, Josh? Are you going to be happy with it? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty straight. Hopefully you get it running. You know what? He has a water hose. Maybe as soon as we get it going that direction. That's Josh's dad. Yes, I'm the father. <laughs> father of the mechanic. Uh, 
That's a, that's actually right there. That's a, a Harley golf cart. Harley golf cart. Yeah. So yeah, we're towing Josh. We're on video. Drifted, Josh. All right, that's not too exciting, so I'm not going to tape that. But yeah, it's totally exciting. We got a car. Woo Josh did. I always get happy for him. Well, we made it back. Uh, that makes number 11 for Josh. This one has the hard top. I still like those seat covers. Cool seat covers, Josh. Hello, kitty. Steven got a custom. The girl, uh, even Hello Kitty floor pads. She custom did the um, shift knob thing. See the pink? It's got a pretty cool stereo. And there he is. Proud and owner. There's that one. He's, that's when he got running yesterday. Hot. 